This is Houston. Say again, please. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 32 of Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. We're not quite still standing where we were people. <clears throat> I haven't done anything off camera other than just investigate a couple of things to do with what we picked up in the last part. And you can see here I've sold a bunch of stuff that we junked and I've junked the rest of the stuff that I've decided I'm not going to do anything with. And I've got two things still left, two bows as it happens, a crossbow and a standard bow. And what we're going to do is we're going to... I was, in the last part, I was kind of, uh, I wasn't happy with the aspect that was on this new bow. Got a legendary bow, but it's to do with uh, rapid fire, which we're not using. And it's easily resolved. Uh, we can change that aspect to something else that we have people. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to put that bow on. That bow that we're using is not actually that, well, I mean, it's nothing special it's just something i pieced together so it'd be good to get this more uber bow on and i think we'll end up putting this other bow in the chest because it may be something we can upgrade later also there's a couple of things that we're wearing that can still be upgraded the hood the necklace and so on and so forth and a few things that we could put aspects on if we wanted to as well because we could put aspects on anything people so uh we're going to put an aspect on this bow and we're also going to try and add a socket to it as well. So, all we have to do is, and I guess we've probably talked about this in previous episodes, but I'm just remembering stuff because it's been a while since I played it. A, so we put the item in there, and we can either do a codex of power that we've discovered, and you unlock those by doing the dungeons, which we've got a couple of. Or you can aspect ratio from your inventory and pull the aspect off of another legendary item, which we're not going to do. We're going to use Codex of Power and we're going to use the one that we've already got in play as it happens. But I'm hoping that this might make it more frequent. Uh, that's a flurry one. Uh, flurry damages enemies in a circle around you and so on. Uh, it tells you where you unlocked it as well. Forsaken Quarry. And aspects of Arrow Storms, which is something that's already happening from something else. Which has the storm of arrows come down every sort of... Uh, we've got a 10% chance of it happening, basically. So we're going to put that on. And there you see that it's kept everything else to do with the weapon. But it's putting that new aspect on, which is quite cool. And it's going to cost us 90,000. What the shit? Uh, oh, apart from it won't do it for some reason. Why not? Ah, because I don't have enough components, people. So, we will do it, <laughs> but we can't do it just now, sadly. We need a four of those, whatever they are. Baleful fragments. I'm not sure how to get those. Uh, collapsing other things is the answer. A Of which... Right, okay, not to worry. We shall go, and the other thing I was going to do was put sockets on it. So let's go and sort that out. Add sockets. Now, I'm not sure if you can do this multiple times. It only ever seems to add one socket each time I do this. It's going to cost 50 grand. And it's going to also cost two scattered prisms. Now, I don't know. Oh, it does seem to. Ah, there we go. Yeah. It's going to cost one scattered prism so we can get two sockets on this thing now it's going to tap us out of some coin this jesus and there we go so we've now got a new bow with two sockets on it it's not the aspect we want but we're going to have to collapse a few things to get that to sort itself out and it'll need to be collapsing a few things that have those items on them obviously which we might not have at the moment did it tell you in the inventory? Oh, I might do in here actually when we speak to the blacksmith. Salvage. Uh, oh, you can do one item at a time. Then we. I'm just wondering if it tells you what it is it's going to give you out of the salvage. But I'm not seeing it in front of me unless I'm being completely thick. Mm, doesn't seem to say. 
Not to worry. Uh, we'll just salvage all junk. Well, we didn't get any of those items. It's, it's showing us down here what we down bottom left here what we actually got from that, and it what none of none of it was the uh, thing that I wanted. So, uh, possible you only get those from maybe legendary items, perhaps. So it's something we'll have to think about. So, the only other thing to do now is to go to our chest. Uh, any chest. <laughs> if I can remember where they are, people. We've got two chests on this in this place, and they're both really close together, really far away from the blacksmith. So, what do we want to put in our bow? Well, we could do with a, a big one, which is mm, overpowered damage. Not really bothered about that. Uh, 7.5% critical strike damage. 5% damage over time. 7.5% critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies. I think was it the skull was... Plus eight life on kill. Uh, maybe. Plus nine percent ultimate skill damage. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I don't want to put anything in it just now because I only want to put the Uber ones in it because it's going to cost me money to take them out. I think. Now that's an Uber one, but it's not necessarily one that I want. Overpower damage. I'm not sure what that's about, to be fair. So, <laughs> I've now got a bow with two sockets in it that I'm not ready to use, I don't think. And I can't remember how many of these chipped ones make a big one. Yeah, chipped rubies make... A certain amount of those make one of those. And a certain amount of those gems make a chipped ruby. Uh, no. Crude ruby make a chipped ruby. Chipped rubies make a ruby. So. Do we leave it off or do we put it on people? That's the question we get to ask ourselves. Actually, those boots could have been collapsed. I wonder if they'd give us... We're well, not going to give us four of them, but... Uh, I think we hung on to them because it didn't have the perk we wanted on it. chance today's well actually it's probably because they don't have speed on them maybe movement speed yeah and that's probably why so if we maybe try those as a collapse and see if we get what we want out of them uh, okay well as it happens we can Put that bow in there. So I'm going to use that just now. It's just a question of whether we're going to swap that for that. Mind you, that one's not got an aspect ratio on it at all, so it's, it's six and a half a dozen, isn't it? What was the yellow ones? Basic skill damage, yeah. So we could take those out of that. Unsocket the, the gems and put them in the new one. I don't know how much it costs, though. I think it's a bit pricey. Unsocket. Oh. Uh. <laughs> not actually sure that did it. Did that take money off me? I've got 112 or a thousand left. I feel like it maybe did, but that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Right. Okay. Maybe we should put these in then. So that's going to give us. Plus fifteen percent basic skill damage. Let's do that for now. I thought it's a bit sad we don't have uh, enough to put the. Oh, no, don't do that. And equip. Marvelous. A. There's a bit of an argument that says dump that crossbow.
What was the aspect ratio on this? Dealing direct damage to a vulnerable enemy has a... I uh, wonder, we could maybe put that aspect ratio on it, actually, just for s sake of a... Uh, see if we can do that. So if we do the ooh, item that is that, and we're going to take it from... Ah, won't let me. That's a bit of a shame. Or did I do something weird with the... Uh, seriously? What's that mark that's on it? Unmark item. That was weird. Mark. And then you do one more. So, that's weird. That's marked as junk. Oh, Marker's favourite. Got you, okay. Wonder if that's why it was, uh... Need something blessed? Cursed, perhaps? Ah, there we go. It's because I'd marked it as a favourite. It was protecting it. So, that's going to put the... Becoming injured while crowd control grants unstoppable for four seconds. This effect has a 36... 40 to 20 second cooldown. Alright, let's do that. This is a perk we can use. Uh... Ah, wait a minute. <laughs> what am I doing, people? I've done totally the wrong thing. Let's try that again, shall we? No, I can't use it. It was me being, me being a donut. Right, okay. Wind fever you. Well, this is a little bit of a learning curve, people. It's good to get your head around these things, though. Store that for now. Right, quick visit to the blacksmith, and then we should be good to go, people. Get the action on. I did change towns as well off camera, just in case you wonder where the hell I am. Uh, there was more facilities at this town than there was where we were. No, that didn't give me any either. So I'm not sure where we get that particular item we need to upgrade. Oh, that's another thing actually, yeah. What can we do to upgrade? Item to upgrade. Me bow. And it's going to take every... Yeah, let's do that. Get even more uber people. Brilliant. We can actually max it out, I think. Well, not quite. It looks like there's one more we can do. And again, it needs that Bellful Fragment, which we don't have. Now, it's possible in an episode gone by that I've figured out what though, where to get those, but uh, at the moment... Shards from storied weapons with truly unusual, uh, unusual properties. Storied weapons. Right, okay. So does that mean large weapons then? I suspect it does. So maybe we need to pick up... Uh, things like axes and what have you. It is a picture of an axe, to be fair. Uh, let's just have a look at our... Let's repair, Steve. Upgrade. There's a few other items. They all, I think they all need the same. Yeah, they all, they're all. they all waiting for the last upgrade, which is those Bellful shards. Although that, wep that weapon could be upgraded. Quality. Nice. It's interesting though, because if I make that into a legendary, oh, it maybe allows me to do four at that point. See, those two don't have a perk on them. Just wondering, but I'm actually running very low on coin. I'm just wondering if I can get me two daggers to be 
a bit more uber put a couple of special moves on those I think it was quite pricey though wasn't it I think it was like 90 grand or something such poor equipment let me help well that was the one with the chance to create an arrow storm well, it's 33,000 for... Oh, I can't do it. So it's the same problem. I need those baleful things to do it. So I can't do it with anything. And that's probably why I've got items that haven't got aspects on them. Okie doke. Right, we're good to go. We have got a new Uber bow though, people. Awesome. How does it look? Can we see it in here? Yeah, we can. Check that bad boy out. My neck fire. Sweet! Mind you, have I not got a... It's possible I've got a... Oh no, I've not got, I've not got a transmog on it actually. Yeah, so that is what it looks like. Nice. Right, let's get going people. A... Where does that take me to? I think that might take us back to where I was before. Before I teleported off camera, people. Here we are, just to prove where we're at. Yeah, there we are. So we're heading down this way. That's where we're heading to. And there is a few side quests kicking around this area. That it might be worth going and speaking to these people. Oh, guy is at it again. Disrupting our ancestors in a foolish attempt to appease the Grinning One. Oh, senseless shrew. Numin. The Grinning One. An ancient entity, once worshipped by our ancestors. Long forgotten, and for good reason. Oh, guy seeks its secrets, and its attention. Digging through our sacred urns, like a child to sweets. There's no limit to that hermit's delusion. Augury of Bones. Heavy cranes reach over the edge, poised to lift cargo from the canyon below. The merchants take their security very seriously. Alright, that quest's actually down there. There was another one though. Yeah, it's down here. We'll do this one first. Provisions for the journey? Don't die hungry, eh? Provisions for the journey? Don't die hungry, eh? All right, aspect, uh, not aspects. Um, armor looks and such like. It doesn't really tell you what they look like, though, does it? Before you buy them. <clears throat> They brought Taiji down from the gate. You want to see him? Ah, I've seen enough corpses on this trip. The cage is done had better be worth it. Something wrong? Salt begets salt. Yes, gun! That thieving sty squad ran off with my precious Puji. That goat was like a son to me. He had a smile to melt all troubles. Now God's taken him to Karayisu, beyond my reach. Oh, Tuji.
Oh, it's not down there. It's over here. I love that. I'm sorry, Sorka, but I'm not sending anyone again. Be at peace with his body recovered. Peace? I wonder if you would feel the same if this were your child. <sighs> Ancestors keep you. My boy, the young Dai and the old linger on. When will it end? I want every spider in the barrens exterminated. I know not if they feel, if their queen would feel this same anguish if she lost her brood. Regardless, I want it done. Bring me their queen's heart. Blistered heart. Spider quest. Would it be so bad if they found out? I'm the son of a merchant. Promised to wed some useful daughter of the steppes. <laughs> My poor rich northern boy. Quite a lot of folks to speak to in here, they're just general conversation. Bastard eaters. Carved my brother like a side of pork. Light a candle for him and go to bed. What can you tell me of a Jarandai? It's the safest town this side of the steps. Good bones. Built on the shoulders of the old empire. You and your coin are most welcome here. What of the cannibals at the gates? Ah, oh, the brutes make a little noise, but our mercenaries are the best in the business. They'll have it sorted out very soon. Nice positive attitude there. <laughs> no. If you have a rash, treat it yourself. I don't want to see another one. Can't blame you, my friend. Well, that's going to take us out by the looks of it. Yeah, back up an area we've already been. So, Zruk. Right, on we go, people. Let's crack on with some questing. Well, we are entering territory. Yeah, there's a dungeon around here. Should we do a dungeon? Not done one for a while. Spider territory, by the looks of it, then. Hmm. Is it just me, or am I noticing a big difference with this damage on this boat? Leggings. Ah, oh, god damn it. It's locked. God damn locked chests all over the place. Well, we certainly need gold now. Bloody spent a fortune, people. Anyone would think it was Christmas or something. Which it is, by the way, in case you're... <laughs> In case you're wondering about that comment and you're watching this about six months from now. Sirocco Cabins.
Well, this is generally these sort of places where you get the uh, aspect ratio unlocks. But there's usually a big bossy fight in here when these sort of places. Foul lair. Definitely feel like I'm getting the rain of arrows more frequently, so I do feel like that stacks up then, because we already had 10% chance on something else, so in theory we've got 20% chance now, if it works that way. Level up and ride your pony! I'm pretty sure the Gladius is a sword. Yeah, it is. However, should we do our level up, people? Be rude not to, really. And we were, oh yeah, we were doing weapon mastery, weren't we? Um... Oh, next rank. There we go. So the next rank is 10%. Uh, no, 8% on... Oh, no, actually, yeah, 10% on my daggers and 8% on my bows. Uh, whereas at the moment we're on 4 and 5, yeah. So it's going up double. Take that, people. Nice. And then we get a 15% and a 12 on the next one. Sweet like chocolate girl. Extra damage. Is there anything more exciting? I think not, people. <laughs> Fucking hell, there's a lot of poison shit going on in this area. Giving me much in the way of uh, health refills at the moment. Oh, this is ominous. The way is locked. Well, I absolutely owned that. Ooh, what's this? Visavadra. Oh. It is a... something I don't use. Solstice form. Rare focus. Maybe a Wanderer Summit.
Fucking hell, it's all got a bit real in here. Good grief. I'm not ready yet. Ooh, got a couple of hills though, thank you. Highland Vestment. A little bit more armour. Mm, not quite as good as what we've got on, is it? Although I realise it's not upgraded, but... A few more perks on the other one. I keep getting poisoned look with that bloody stuff. Yeah, they really don't like the ice these things. Fetish, that sounds like something to do with a dagger. Come on now. Oh, it's a sword. <laughs> God damn it. I often wonder if it, I keep saying this, but I wonder. I don't know. I can't remember if I tried two swords instead of two daggers at one point. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the one handed weapon still just slows you down a little bit. But that said, I'm not sure if the daggery moves all work if you're holding two swords right enough. Because we had the... Yeah, that was a sword as well. That was the Gladius, I think. That's definitely new, that favourites thing. I'm sure it is. Well, the only thing that I'm... I don't know, it's the same route round, I think. There's a little bit there that I've not quite discovered. There was another path up this way, but I think it might all lead round to the same place.
Nice. Full capacity of health again. Loving it. Oh no. It's a special one of those fuckers. I'm low on energy. Just got another crossbow. Looks like one I've had before. Sheer madness. We fought against each other with such zeal. For what purpose? Now, the creatures have overtaken us. Nature with her time well. We are now like carrying to them. Tissue. Yeah. To be torn through. Once I was a warrior fighting for a cause I can barely remember. Now, I am maggot food. Maggot food? Oh no! I feel like we might have unlocked these areas up here by killing those creatures because there's nowhere else to go. <coughs> oh, hello. a fight. Well, there's a way up there. I'm pretty sure these were the two bits that were locked. That way and that way. So it's which way do we go first more than anything, I think. Let's do this one first. Aha. What lurks in this place? These caves are super cool. And creepy as shit! Island vestment, heavy chest plate, rune staff, and crossbow. Mm. 
Well, we have got a big skull symbol up at the top there. That can only end well, I suppose. Dead. Woo. Hey, I'm just pretty decent on them, right enough. Nineteen de plus nineteen dexterity, plus four point eight percent attack speed. Uh, I've got plus two ranks to barrage, which I use, haven't I? That's why I've got the ones on that I have. Blimey, I didn't get any drops out of that fight, I don't think. <laughs> the shit. Well, I've built up a bit of coin again, at least.
vestment. Traps go damage, decent. Yeah, I mean the trap skill damage we use a lot, and the cold damage we... Uh, no, that's cold resistance. Another skull image at the top. So we're going to kick off up here. Hell, what the hell's happening, people? <laughs> Aspect of echoing fury. <laughs> so we've got the aspect from the dungeon. Can we see them in here or no? Aspect of Echoing Fury. Uh. It's a little flame symbol. Yeah, that one there. Uh, I can't find it. Why can't I find it? Well, that's just weird. I don't understand. <laughs> it's telling me there that I've got the Codex of Power, Aspects of Echoing Fury recently acquired. Yet when I go inside of it, it's not there. Never mind. Have a look when we get out. Bag gloves ready. Plus twenty four decks. Plus one to rank of barrage instead of two, but you get the extra decks. Really? Didn't manage to save the woman. Trying to avoid that. I need time to do that. I need more energy.
think that was a bow. Unlocks new look on salvage. Looks like we've done a full circle to where we could have come the other way, I think. Well, we don't normally pick up whites, but never mind. I think we most certainly do need to visit a shop or a blacksmith very soon. Yeah, that's the jump that we could have taken earlier, I think. Yeah. So we've come around in a massive circle, so either way would have taken us to the same place. And I think that should tell us that the dungeon is done, in theory. <laughs> Alright, you can just leave. Fair enough. But we're close now anyway, we'll just run out. That was good, people. Enjoyed that, but it's been ages since we did one of those dungeons. And we've got another... We could do with doing them, actually, because it gives us loads of brilliant moves to put on our weapons and armour. Yeah, it's got a big tick on it now, because we've done it. However... I'm still confused as to why it's telling me I don't have... It's telling me I've got asp that aspect, but I, I can't see it in here. Encircling blades and arrow storms were already had. just bizarre. Energizing aspect. It's got that symbol on it. Yeah, it's just not in it's just not in here. Ah, is it because it's not for my class? Here we go. Yeah, there we go. It's because it's not for this class. Got ya. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, in fact, I think it tells you on the dungeons whether or not it's for your class as well, now that I think about it. Like, if we go to any other one. Yeah, druid only, there you go. So we've actually gone into one that must have said something only, and I've uh, I've not realised. Not to worry. Okay, still glad I did it. Well, as it happens, we could probably do... Uh, well, hello. Yeah, 
Yes, we are kind of on the hour mark. It would have been nice to find a uh, teleport point before going to a shop. <laughs> Just do have to make this run back in the next part. I feel like if we get to near the marker or, or the marker where the quest is, we may well find another waypoint. Yeah, I'm just going to make a beeline for that and see if it gets us to a waypoint. What's that up there, though? Oh, it's one of those fucking... Frack's sake. Low on energy. I'm not ready yet. I need time to do that. <laughs> Yes. Got an amulet. Time. I don't have enough energy. Got no fracking idea where I am right enough. Got to be full, just about. Yeah, I am. So we've got a new a new amulet out of it. Legendary. Basic skills grant twenty percent damage reduction for six seconds, three between three and nine. With a whole bunch of other things on it. Plus uh, plus one rank of all agility skills. 11% total armor, plus 11% total armor, plus 5.3% damage. Oh, imbuement skills again. God damn it. Whoa, it's a decent sword, that. A... <laughs> yeah, just straight line, Steve. I can't pick anything else up now without dropping something. Whoa, who's this? Who's that badger? He had a special symbol on him for some reason. Waypoint. Tarsarac. That's a new place. Let's grab that waypoint. Mm. 
Marvellous people. Right. Well, I think that's an ideal place to wrap it up. We do have an armourer. So we can salvage our stuffs. No, I'm not a guide. But you can't throw a rock without hitting one around here. Armour vendor. Armour vendor. Weapon vendor. Blacksmith. Forge is ready for whatever you need. Well, we've got a fair bit of materials out of that lot. Eh, uh, not actually sure. Can you just learn the aspect off of an item without actually putting it on something straight away? I'm not sure if you can. Uh, I don't think one of those people is here. It's a jeweler, this one. Marvellous. Well, we are good to go, people. We can crack on. Well, I mean, we're actually good to crack on. Just keep doing the quest, to be fair. Um, is that Laura? Yeah. Lorath. So we're good to crack on with the main story again. We've do, we've uncleared a fair bit of the map there. <laughs> we didn't really discover much on the way down, right enough. A big, big empty space up here, but uh, maybe that's how it's meant to be. That's the dungeon we did. That's Jurandai. That's the last village we were in. Be interesting to see where it takes us next. It's a big old map, isn't it? Well, there you are, folks. Thoroughly enjoyed that once again, people. I really did. I really enjoyed doing the dungeon. I've done that for such a long time. Next time we do one, I think we'll make sure we do one for our class, though. It's getting <laughs> a bit frustrating picking up things that we're not going to be using. But anyway. Well, there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.